Good day, welcome to today's class. If this is your first time on this channel, please click the red subscription button so that when we drop more videos, you'll get notified. And again, if you have not watched my fourth video on overhead absorption or overhead generally, please do well to watch it. I'll drop the link under this video. So in this class, we'll be talking about under absorption and over absorption. Let me give you guys a good illustration so that you will understand what we mean by under absorption and over absorption. And let's say the rent, which is my uh, overhead that needs to be absorbed, is a thousand, let's say a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. So, and the quantity I produced is hundred. So, in this situation now, my overhead absorption rate will be equals to one thousand divided by hundred. So, to cancel to this cancel this i'm left with ten dollars per unit so from what i've explained in my first video this is that means that i'm going to be adding extra ten error to every unit produced sorry ten dollars rather extra ten dollars to every unit produced in order to cover the amount for my rent so but the actual rent i was able to cover after producing is nine hundred dollars yes the actual rent i was able to cover out of one thousand dollars is nine hundred dollars now in this situation what are the cases or what are the things that this to lead to under absorption of overheads one of the things is if i did not produce up to this hundred quantity according to my calculations for me to be able to cover my rent i have to charge ten dollars on how many quantity on 100 quantity but i end up producing my actual quantity produced i end up producing 90 dollars so 90 uh, sorry 90 units so 90 units times overhead absorption rate that will give me my what 900 dollars so and that does not cover my rent which is 1000 dollars so in most situation this is what we call under absorption this is under under absorption so when the amount for the the estimated amount for um overhead is not fully covered so you have under absorbed the overhead and that is a search of this case rent of one thousand dollars quantity of hundred but i end up producing a uh, quantity of 90. so in that situation i'm going to under absorb my overhead and which is loss not in all instances but i'm going to explain better so let's proceed now let's give another instance for over absorption let's say my rent is also a thousand dollars and my quantity is also hundred but in this situation now my overhead absorption rate is still ten dollars we've calculated that earlier but in this situation i did not produce 90 i produce more than 90. yes let's say i produce 110 as our quantity so if i produce the actual quantity produced is 110. so 110 times the overhead absorption rates that will give me 1100 naira. so 110 because i've added don't forget i've added 10 10 dollars as my overhead absorption rate to each each product produced so if I'm not producing 110, so 110 times the $10 is going to give me the total amount of rent I've generated from each product. So 110 times $10, and that will give me $1,100. So in this situation, I have over-absorbed. I have over-absorbed. I have over-absorbed. But in this situation, I have under so in this situation now you say it is under absorbed in this situation you say it is over absorbed so how do we treat under absorption we treat under absorption as loss whenever you have any case where um there's an under absorption you treat it as loss so we treat under absorption as loss and we treat over absorption as um profit yes so let's take a question and let's see how we can solve questions to determine under and over absorption of um of overheads.
So now we have a question that goes thus budgeted overheads is 600,000 naira, budgeted labor hours is 60,000, actual overheads is 600,000 naira, actual labor hours is 64,000. So calculate the over or under absorbed overhead. So to calculate the over or under absorption overhead, the first thing you need to do is to calculate the overhead absorption rates. So overhead absorption rate, overhead absorption rate, which is OAR. If you look at this question very, very, very well, you see that what you are given is budgeted labor hours. That means that we are calculating our overheads on each labor hours. I already gave that in my first video class. So that will be total overhead total overhead overhead divided by labor budgeted labor hours and that will be what is my total overhead or budgeted overhead is six hundred thousand six hundred thousand divided by budgeted labor hour sixty thousand so this 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 sixty divided by six i have um ten so that is 10 Naira per labor hour. So that's what it means, 10 Naira per labor hour. So this is my overhead absorption rate per labor hour. So for one labor hour, the overhead absorption rate is $10 for one. So if you look at the question, they said the actual over, uh, sorry, actual labor hours is 64,000. So if my overhead absorption rate per labor hour is 10 Naira, then and I was told that my actual labor hours is 4,000. So, so if this is my overhead absorption rate per labor hours, so the actual labor hour, the actual labor hours in the question is 64,000. So to get my actual overhead will be 10 Naira, which is one labor hour times the actual labor hour spent. We give me my actual overhead. So my actual overhead, actual overhead, actual overhead will be 10 naira times what is the actual labor hours 64,000 64 and if i should multiply that that will give me 640,000 is my actual overhead so my actual overhead is 640,000 and my budgeted overhead from the question my budgeted overhead budgeted overhead is 600,000 so if i subtract 740 minus 600,000 I'm, I'm going to be getting 40,000 naira so this 40,000 naira how are you going to interpret it look at it the budgeted overhead that needs to be covered is 600,000 but i have actually covered more than it because this is my actual i need to cover 600,000 rent, which is my budgeted, but I have covered 640. So this is this is what we call in this situation we call this um over absorbed. Yes, overhead overhead has been over absorbed. I'm supposed to absorb 600,000, but I've absorbed 640,000. This is over um over absorption of overhead. So the amount over absorbed is forty thousand 